So that's why you didn't take me to the hospital. What are you talking about? Hey, you should be resting. Yeah, yeah, you didn't take me to the hospital because you knew they would bring me back to the mental institution. Oh, that. Right. So you know who you are now, huh? I just saw it on TV. Yeah? What did they say? That's not the point. Why would you bring a fucking maniac into your house? That's an interesting question. Have a seat. Hope you like orange juice. Who doesn't like orange juice? My foster parents, for one. Of course, they don't like much of anything, you know? They don't even like chocolate. Can you believe that? Do your foster parents approve of you bringing serial killers into their house? Only on Friday nights. No, I don't live with my foster parents anymore. Not since they opened a lawsuit against me. Your foster parents are suing you? What for? Well, it's not important. Listen, you've killed like 46 people. 47. Right? Yeah, I killed a 75-year-old man on my way here. Wow, cool. Uh, anyways, so you've killed like 47 people and you seem to be pretty heartless. Oh, thanks. No problem. So since I nursed your wounds and didn't turn you into the cops, I need you to do a little favor for me. Oh, what would that be? I want you to kill my foster parents. What? I want you to kill my foster parents. Why would you want me to do that? Because that's the only way they're going to drop the lawsuit. You seem to forget I'm not a killer anymore. That part of me is gone. You know, I'm a new person now. Oh, come on. You think getting hit in the head will take away your killer instincts? If that were the case, then the government would be bopping people on the head all the time. It's much cheaper than feeding them for a lifetime. Well, take it, but I'm not going to do this for you. Why? You're insane and dangerous. You're a serial killer. Two more people on your list isn't going to make a bit of difference. So if I'm insane, and I enjoy killing people, so, why would I take the time to find specific people to kill, huh? When I could just kill the people directly in front of me! Hey, hey, come on now. Now, I took care of you. I didn't turn you into the police, I nursed yeah, your wounds. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, right? Remember, I'm insane! <laughs> Don't worry, dude, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> that is not funny, man. That is not funny. Oh, sorry, I was just having a bit of fun. Yeah, well, let's see how funny this is. this sword? What are you talking about? 46 people died by this blade. So, you mean to say- Yes! This is your weapon of choice. Wait, how come you have it? You may have lost your memory, Ben, but you're still just as slow as you've ever been. So I knew you, didn't I? Now you're getting somewhere. So, I was coming here, huh? So this was my destination when I crashed. That I can only guess. So, so who are you? A, a close friend? You are my foster parent. I am Jack Estrada. Oh, so the truth finally comes out, huh? I guess so. Um, what about the lawsuit thing? Oh, I made that up. Just having a bit of fun. Oh, and the sword at my neck? This is a bit of fun too? No, that's for real, Ben. You know, I take it you don't even remember why you adopted me. How did you guess? You wanted a son. A son who could follow in your footsteps. A son who could continue your reign of terror. You wanted to create a machine that didn't have any feelings for fellow humans. Let me tell you something, Ben. You succeeded. And I hate you for it. I've been practicing for three years with your own sword on animals. And everything is red, Ben. Blood, red, I can't think of anything else. But I decided it was not time to strike a human yet. So I've been waiting. I've been waiting for the right time to strike, just like you taught me. You may have been insane, but you did know the meaning of the word patience. I learned that much from you very well. And now, it's time for your reign of terror to end and mine to begin. That's right, the police shall never find your body, and victims shall fall to your blade by my command. People will think you're still on the loose. Your face will be in all the papers. Meanwhile, I'll just be living my normal, everyday life. But underneath the surface, 
will be my secret identity. The seed planted by Ben Estrada. Blooming within Jack Estrada. Ben Estrada's katana killing spree claimed his newest victim today. Betty Kowalski, a Ben Loman social worker, was found dead in her kitchen this afternoon. Ms. Kowalski is the 52nd victim of this epic killing spree, which started in the spring of 1990.